Not much left in the town of Cochise, the old hotel, the general store. But if you stand out by the tracks and allow history to come into focus, it's like going back in time. To that year, 1899. It was a boom year for train robbers, Bert Alvord and Billy Stiles. They brought dynamite along and they loaded up on the safe and blow up most of the express car, but it opens the safe. Historian Doug Hawking is fascinated by the robbery and how much the Alvord Stiles gang may have gotten. And the safe and dollar bills go flying all over. Did they get 3,000 or 30,000? Well, Wells Fargo wouldn't want anybody to know that somebody had gotten away with 30,000 of their money. Yeah. And it was a minimal amount. Let's blow it. It's buried out there somewhere. It was spectacular, but there's another intriguing aspect to this story. Albert and Stiles themselves and their line of work. Bert Albert, who'd planned the robbery, now he's the marshal of, of Wilcox. Billy Stiles is the constable of Pierce. Yeah, <laughs> right, two lawmen. With one heist under their belts, the gang tried again the next year. With three-finger Jack leading the way, but this time, Wells Fargo was prepared. And they go to the express car, and there's Jeff Milton, gunfighter. <laughs> he blasts three-finger Jack forces these guys to take off. Before Jack died, he ratted out the whole gang. Who stuff? Albert and Styles. Some of them wound up in jail only to be broken out by Styles, who then headed for Mexico with Albert. That's where they concocted a plan to send two bodies back to Arizona in hopes the authorities would think they were dead didn't work. Arizona Rangers eventually got them and put them in jail again. And guess what? <laughs> they escape again. Oh and my. Stiles ends up uh, dying in a gunfight up in Nevada. And Alvord lives out his days, but apparently never got back to pick up the loot. Ah, yes, the loot. Some say it's still out there somewhere, and they are looking for it. But perhaps the only thing they'll ever find is one explosive legend out of the Old West.